Become a sniper in the army. A very common misconception about being a sniper is that you need to be a very accurate shooter to become a sniper. Although a very helpful skill, shooting alone won't save you during a war or any fierce fire exchange. It takes a lot of discipline, patience, and a good sense of stealth and enemy location to master the art of sniping. If you think you have what it takes to be the army's elite back-end support sniper, then you must first consider joining the U.S. Army. Here's how. First thing to do is to enlist in the army. This can be done by contacting a recruiter and asking about everything you need to know in joining the United States Army. The first thing to complete is the MEPS or the Military Entrance Processing Station. Once your recruiter sends your medical examination results to MEPS, and receives an OK remark, you will then be asked to proceed to the next step, which is to visit MEPS. Remember to prepare the night before your visit and bring your driver's license, social security card and birth certificate. Ask your recruiter for a list of what to prepare on that day. The MEPS is usually a two-day process where you will be taking the computerized ASFOB test. If you live far from the vicinity of the MEPS testing area, you will be assigned a motel slash hotel to stay free of charge except for telephone calls, in-room internet access and movies. The next morning you will be shuttled back to MEPS for your next procedure. It is highly suggested that you bring something to read as this part of the process will definitely test your patience. Your Armed Forces Vocational Aptitude Battery ASFOB, exam results should at least be a score of 31 at the minimum to qualify to enlist with the Army. Of course it is highly advisable that you score higher to be sent to a sniping school later on. MEPS personnel will also validate your medical exam results to determine if you are physically fit to serve. You will be undergoing urine and blood tests, and females will also be tested for pregnancy. A hearing test, eye examinations, and weight check with body fat analysis will also follow. Once done and approved with your ASFOB exams, you will then be working with your counselor to choose your military job. This part may depend on the availability of slots in the Army Reserve. After selecting your military job, proceeding with the pre-enlistment interview, pay, is next. On this interview, you will be given orientations on proper decorum and possible law violations in the Army. Afterwards, you go through the Oath of Enlistment Ceremony. And then you will be checked out to your designated service the following day. When you are on the training boot camp, 
All you need to do is prove your worth and aim for the highest performance scores on each test and be as professional as possible if you plan to be sent to the Army Sniper School at Fort Benning, Georgia. Your goal is to be at the top percentile of your class to earn your commander's recommendation.